Well, welcome to Summer Leighton Hall and we're going to give you a tour now of the newly planted rose garden that they have been developing here at Summer Leighton. And the scent as I walk through here is absolutely wonderful. Full on English rose. Let's have a look around here and see what they've got coming on. We're shooting this last week in August and it's looking incredibly green, lush and full of colour for an August rose garden. You'd think most of them would have had their initial flush but these are looking very, very good. So let's go around and see what we can spot. This little beauty caller eye, it's grown as a standard, standing at around three and a half to four, maybe five feet at its very peak. Good bud formation, lovely semi-double pink, it's called Bonica and it's got a good scent. That's a nice healthy rose growing here. Look at the foliage on it, very nice, green, tiny little bit of black spot but that doesn't seem to be affecting its vigour overall. One of my favourites, this Gertrude Jekyll, having what will be just a trickle flush really at this time of year. Beautiful, full, double, well scented rose. Available both as a standard and a shrub and a climbing rose, Gertrude Jekyll. Beautiful colour. This is another cracking little rose. Just look at that old fashioned David Austin. Beautiful scent and colour. This one is a lovely rose called Gabriel Oak. Again, nice healthy, good leaf, a little bit of black spot. But what a cracker. This is Louise Odier, a beautiful old Bourbon rose that's looking very good in this garden here. Beautiful, almost quartered, small flowers but plenty of them. It's got a profusion of them. Beautiful buds on this, look, as they open up. So fragile and gentle. Growing to around four, four and a half feet. Very healthy, good disease resistance. And the scent of this being a bourbon is just delightful. Planting here really is inspiring. They're not massive rose beds. Centred around the statue tree, there's a total of 16 beds in total. But they're all on this beautiful pink theme this time of year. It really is a beautiful little English rose garden to visit. This one hasn't got a label on so I can't share with you the variety, but what a colour. Quartered English old fashioned, probably another David Austin. Nice healthy form. Growing nicely in the centre of this, just under the statue. There, we found one of these red ones with a label. It is David Austin, and this is James L. Austin, the variety. Beautiful. What is special about this rose garden is the fact that here in the late week, last week of August, we've still got all this flower, which is absolutely incredible. They must have been watering and feeding this to have kept it in this condition. The scent, as I say, is just wonderful. So much colour so late in the season. So really good example of what can be done with uh, the right variety and care of roses.